Good morning. Right up front, I don't have all the answers. So, we're going to be doing these videos on being frugal. Let's get frugal together. I need the community to work with me, you know, giving me your ideas how, how you do things because I'm going to be writing those down and making those part of the videos. I don't have all the answers. I wished I did. But there are things that we're going to, other YouTubers, I don't know if we need another frugal uh, video. I have no idea. But let's work together to come up with ways to save money for people. I want the first thing for you to do is to look at your common, common usage items in your house, okay? Toothpaste, paper bags, paper towels, toilet paper, wipes, uh, personal hygiene, um, anything at all that you use that's basic on a constant basis every day, every week, cleaning supplies. Look at all these. Price them out. It's a lot of work. This is going to be a lot of work. Price those items out and figure out how long they last you, whether it's a week, a month, six months. Uh, for instance, is I buy a tube of toothpaste. It lasts six months. I buy it at the Dollar Tree, so it's a dollar twenty-five. So in six months, I'm using twenty cents a month. It, that's kind of simple. Mouthwash, dollar twenty-five at the Dollar Tree. I buy. Uh, they just have one size, and it lasts me three months. So there's forty cents. If you can figure out not the just the necessities there's a start there and how do you work within your house to save money one one excellent idea is I rewash my bags my plastic bags, zip bags. Um, once they've been used, I turn them inside out, I wash them, hang them up, let them dry, and keep reusing them. You know, the big ones I use for ice until it gets a hole. That That is used for ice. So I might use three large gallon bags a month for ice because I keep reusing them and reusing them and reusing them. And even with a hole, if it's just ice and it's kept frozen, it's okay. Those kinds of things. Foil, now good foil, not bad foil, but good foil. Good foil, you can wipe down once you've covered something. If you cover your items with foil, you can gently open them up so you don't get that flimsy thin stuff. Wipe it off, fold it in, fold it, and put it in a bag and, and you have various sizes so whenever you need foil you can pull those sizes out. Those are just two items that I can think of off the top of my head. So now I'm going to go into how many times you have created a budget, actually a real, bu a real budget. Everybody tells you you need a budget, you need a plan. Shop once a month. Don't go to the grocery store. You know, I'm so used to jumping in the the vehicle and just going to the grocery store uh, before, you know, any anytime I wanted something. So I never really did it on a monthly basis. I knew what I was spending, but, oh, I need this today. No, that costs gas. Figure out what kind of gas mileage you get, how many miles it is to the store, there and back. You come up with a, a cost of how much it costs you just to go to the store. So how many times do you want to go? So again, these are strictly ideas. And now I'm going to do a little bit of a menu. I will say, everybody still make it healthy food. If you're starving, you don't care if it's healthy or not. I'm just saying, if you are starving and you haven't had food for a month or week, 
do you care if it's healthy or do you care if it's food? I'm going to pick the healthiest things I can, but I'm not an expert on health, on food. I just know what I have eaten all my life and how much I have been made to be very frugal with what I have. So let's begin a little bit more, but I have given you two ideas on saving money. Whether it's a large family or a small family, we all use these Ziploc bags or whatever, you know, the plastic bags. How can we use them more frugally? One thing, way to think. Please make your comments on things that you do to be frugal in your house. Let's begin on some food. Packaged in three packs, it's two oh nine each. Ketchup alone is four seventy six. Then you get to mustard, which is three twelve, and you have relish, which is a uh, five something, five forty two. So you're looking at what? Showed you that a package of three items: mustard, ketchup, and relish. Is 628 which is 209 each if you buy them individually it's 628 for those three but if you buy those three individually you're between 12 and 15 dollars depending on the price big savings now if you can't use them that's another story but these are products that I use so that's a big savings if you buy thinking about really watching your pennies you will be able to save a lot of money and still have the products you want. So I'm going to start out with something I'm going to get the worst comments on. You're going to give me the hardest time. I have eliminated toilet paper. I hate toilet paper. I don't know offhand how much toilet paper is at this point because I find it a waste in my life. Many of you will not be able to do this or you don't like it you have to choose but divide your toilet paper by how many how much you use on a monthly basis and you'll figure how much it's costing you let me show you what I use the reason I use this I want to be very specific is Richiko my stepmother always had a, a bidet I love bidets they, yes they use you water but very little and toilet paper it's very rough you have, now you have you flush it down the toilet maybe you flush too much whatever these do not get flushed down the toilet so let me show you what I'm talking about and what I have in my life changed I use wipes the reason I use wipe is I'm very fanatical about cleanliness downstairs this cost, you get two packages in a box, 96, that's 192 for $8.97, which brings it down to four cents a wash, a wipe. Now these are very large, they're the size of an, act, an actual washcloth. No, you do not flush them down the toilet. Please don't even think about that. I don't have running water. So this is much easier in a van to use for me, but the cleanliness is what I like. Now I use it to wipe myself before I, I get to the, the bad part, okay, where I wipe the other, you know, but some people don't like the chemicals that are in this or what they're used. It's a vitamin E and aloe vera. So it's really a personal choice but four cents a piece, I use maybe one or two a day. So, so I use a two a day, uh, and uh, two into 192 is how many days? 90, let's say over, a little over three, three months, one of these will last me. If I only use two a day. That, to me, is very inexpensive. It's four cents, two a day, that's eight cents a day and eight cents a day times 30 days is two dollars and forty cents a month now mind you it may be three but it's really really inexpensive I know you're using more than that in toilet paper so this is one way of me doing two things 
at once and for me personally it, it's a cleanliness thing and I really don't like toilet paper so this is one frugal thing that I do for me you may not you may have a large family but if it's just one person it takes care of two different things at the same time wipes I mean this is all about math and figuring out so you divide the number of wipes into the price and you come up with the cost and then you decide how many you use a day and then you total that to how many you use a month you may use a little less you may use a little more but it is for me a cost savings that's my way of being frugal I could use worse cloths maybe but then you're talking about using a lot more water and water is expensive 50 cents a gallon you pay for your water at your house I know you do uh, you got to take that into your cost if I think there's a standard I mean it's been a while a standard fee every month if you don't go above that that's great but if you do you have to stop and you have to figure out how you can save on your water your water bill you know, I mean, maybe it's not a lot. I don't know. Everybody, you know, all know what your own bills are. So how can you bring that down in any little form? Maybe saving water. Maybe instead of taking a shower every day, maybe every third day. That's Marty playing with her toy. In between, you do a, a, a just a bucket bath, you know. You fill a dish or a bowl or a pot, whatever, with water, soap and water, and you wash. You do a sponge bath. It uses a lot less water than a shower does. So if you're over your water bill, then you need to get back to just the fee and only use the water that you need for just the fee. I never went over my water bill. I'm very frugal with water, always have been. And now I don't have running water in a van. Paper towels. I'm, again, I'm listing common things we normally use. I use vinegar and water together as a, a disinfectant. So I don't buy all these disinfectants. Um, I use washcloths a lot. And I do, yes, I do wash them when it's time to go wash them. I dry them, I hang them up and I dry them. I mean, there's a lot of things hanging up in the van to dry or to keep clean. I, I hand wash a lot of things. So that, but it saves a lot of water, which means at 50 cents a gallon like I pay, I save myself a lot of water. My garden is using water, which is becoming even more expensive for me. But that's another, I don't want to digress. So please forgive me if I pop around. So let's go over, I mean I have page after page after page of list of things I use, how much it costs and how much I use every month, what's the actual cost of that. If we become more knowledgeable with math on figuring things out, what's the cost per ounce, what's the cost per sheet, I mean really get down to the nitty gritty, you are really going to learn a lot about your lifestyle. And what do you have to do to change your mindset to become, I would even call it frugal, just saving money, helping to save money, putting money in your pocket, or just being able to survive a little bit better. <clears throat> All I see are videos about people who cannot make it, who cannot make it. And our biggest affected group are seniors. Seniors, you are the most frugal. You all were raised my time frame. I know you're all frugal. I know you are, but as a community together, maybe we can help each other think about other ideas we didn't think about. This is a group effort, not just one single person. I'm just trying to present a group effort on trying to learn, even myself, how to do things differently to save money, pay off my bills. And we should probably start, which many people do, about get rid of those credit cards. I saw something I really liked, and I'm going to present that during this on how to pay off your credit cards. But right now we're just talking food. We're talking our, our necessities that we feel are our necessities to life. 
how do we bring those back and use them in a more efficient manner to save money.